Well, good morning. Ah. We are in full Halloween force. Now that uh, Labor Day is over, got all the partying out of the way. Um, just uh, loading up the trailer. Pretty much for the next couple months, at least for the next month, I'm going to have this trailer on me constantly. So you never know when you have the ability to stop and get some pallets, fencing, props, whatever the case may be. So, being the fact that we haven't done a haunt, what was it, 2010, I think it was, um, since 2010, we are going to have to refine, collect, whatever you want to call it, um, all of our uh, all of our materials to buy. And normally we don't we don't hold on to those materials, but sometimes we do if they're really good or able to be stored. But there's no none of that anymore because it's been so long since we've since we've done a haunt. So today, hopefully, we'll be classified as build day number one. Uh, we're going to be getting some pallets. Uh, we do our mazes with pallets. Free and easy. Um, and uh, real quick, our game plan is going to be uh, well, today is what? In, uh, September 2nd. September 2nd. And uh, we have I'm going to say no later than 27th, 26th, 27th of September to have the haunt completely built. Um, our first night of operation is going to be October 24th, um, but we need the construction, the main construction part of the, the haunt done by, my opinion, the 27th of September. This way we can start focusing on the details and the decorations and things like that because that is where, uh, in my opinion, you make or break a haunted house. So. So that's key. So basically, we're on on the hunt. I'm gonna check out Craigslist free section, see if there's anything out there that's uh, worth getting. I'm gonna be checking that two or three times a day. And then we've got an industrial park uh, here in town that uh, we get a lot of pallets and a lot of uh, raw materials and things like that. And it's all free. So I'll let you know if we find anything. So work is done, and we're out and about. And Man, this guy's having a bad day. That stinks. Anyway, I'm trying, going over to the industrial portion of our city to see if uh, I can find any pallets or materials. And that was the way I had to go, so now I gotta find a different way in there, so. Um, hopefully, usually, Usually, we, there's more than enough uh, scrap pallets and scrap wood and things to grab, so I'm sure I'll, I'll have something to show you guys. There's a couple of little pallets here, so grab these. My bit of advice when collecting materials like this is to, if you see someone around, to ask them. Um, because some people are a little weird about their trash. Now, you're not taking any valuable information, in my opinion. You're not taking any papers or anything with uh, that kind of stuff on it. However, some people are a little weird about that, so if you just ask and be as honest as possible, you know, then usually they have no problems. We like to come normally on Sundays when there's not normally a lot of people around, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but we try to only take things that are obvious trash. Um, things that are piled by the dumpster or sometimes in the dumpster. Um, because all these dumpsters around here, you're going to be looking at a lot of construction material because it's the industrial place. Um, I, we found um, shed material, uh, sheet metal, plexiglass. These are uh, bits and pieces and scraps that were left over. And it tends to, uh, you know, it does definitely help out. Um, there's certain areas that I'm looking at here as we drive by that you see pallets stacked up, but they're nowhere near a dumpster, and sometimes people reuse their pallets. So, uh, 
if we do come by and get those, it'll probably be on a weekend when it's not going to be as awkward or weird if we're just picking up some pallets. But most of the time, people don't mind. So just be smart about it. Pallets! Yes. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, no problem, Seth. My business partner thanks you. Because now they're out of my warehouse. Build day one. Not that we build, built anything, but we have a nice stack of pallets and some, some wood. So, this is all how it starts. <laughs>